All right, have and have not fans, I mentioned this in my episode review for Power Struggle and people have been asking me for the past few weeks, Jeremy, who do you think is going to be the next character to die? Let me just put it this way. I think it is safe to assume that both Alice and Sarah have signed their death warrants as of the last episode. I mean, let's just put it this way. When Jim says you're dead nine times out of ten, that means he is going to make a phone call and within a handful of episodes, your ass will be dead. He said the same thing to Terrell is like, if I find, remember Terrell, uh, this is going back to when Jim put Wyatt in jail in like a controlled environment just to give him a taste of what it would be like on the inside if he did testify to hitting little Lizzie just despite his parents. And yeah, you get what you asked for. And can you imagine if you were in prison for seemingly the rest of your life, if you couldn't even make it here, you wouldn't even make it there. But then it turned out that Veronica paid off some people uh, like Terrell, the police officer in the, um, you know, the jail who put toxic in Wyatt's cell, leading to him being raped. And he said, you know, if I find out that you got one penny more in your bank account, then you usually get paid. Because I think he says something like, well, I got a tax return. He's like, nah, man. If he finds out that Veronica, if he finds out there's a large lump sum of cash in your bank account, he will assume Veronica did it and then have you killed. And we did see him killed in the season finale of season three, was it? Where he saw a cannon kill Professor Cannon, Terrell and Toxic. So, yeah, uh, Sarah ain't going to be around too long, y'all. Then on top of that, we have Allison. Like, the whole resigning thing, okay, that's even going out of the front door. But her threat in suing Veronica, again, stuff she can deal with. But then her saying that, hey, I have, I've been working here long enough to expose some secrets and whatnot. So, I feel like that was enough to say, we ain't seeing her no more. I mean, we, like... Catherine said in the episode of Cup of Tea, it's like what your squeaky clean uh, run in the courtroom as an attorney and whatnot. Mm -mm. What about all the times you allegedly tamper with evidence or had thugs rough up witnesses? So I'm just saying, I don't think she's going to make it to the end of the season. So when it comes down to it, if I were to say who will die soon, Sarah and Alice slash Allison would be my first two guesses. Justin is probably going to survive the beatdown because he's not going anywhere anytime soon. He will be in season seven, but I don't know. I we'll have to wait and see. RK, I think, is safe for now as well. But overall, I think it, I mean, yeah, Sarah and Alice are probably the next couple of people to go. Uh, let me know. Do you think the Malones will get to Wyatt? But remember, he's going to be around in season seven as well. So, yeah. But what are the characters do you think are going to be, you know, facing the good old axe soon but i think those are the two most likely candidates so thanks so much for tuning in and uh check out my episode review for power struggle if you haven't done so already i gave the episode an eight out of ten there were a lot of this character is acting stupid kind of scenes but there were some very good scenes that made up for that with heart thanks so much for tuning in subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and also just a humble not a brag but of a congratulations and thank you so much i actually got an email from uh, YouTube a few minutes before I recorded this video, give me an update on how the channel did in January. And I want you to look closely at the numbers showing the number of subscribers, the number of views, the number of likes, comments, and all that good stuff. I could not do this without you. I want you to know I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. And I'll talk to you next time. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.